It's time now for the big story. And whilst we were on air last night, we broke the news that Iran had launched in excess of 150 drones and missiles on Israel. Now, whilst the vast majority of these unmanned aircraft and rockets were intercepted by Israeli, British and American forces, uh, the prime minister confirmed that the problem continues. How do Israel respond? Take a listen to the prime minister. I can confirm that our planes did shoot down a number of Iranian attack drones. I don't want to pay tribute to the bravery and professionalism of our pilots flying into the face of danger. The ramifications of this attack will likely be lasting in the region. So what does last night mean for Israel's effort to eliminate Hamas? What does it tell us about the nature of the Iranian regime? And do Britain and America risk being dragged into another expensive and bloody war in the Middle East? Well, to debate this, I'm delighted to welcome Captain Reserve of Israel's Special Forces, Ayal Biram. Mr. Biram, thank you so much for joining us on Mark Dolan tonight. What is your reaction to what happened last night? Were you surprised? I think we all were very surprised, mm. although there was an intelligence and the IDF, together with the coalition led by the U.S., preparing for a situation and similar attack. We never expected Iran to shoot such an unpresidential attack with 300 missiles, UAVs and more mm. to Israel, including ballistic missiles. Important to say, these missiles one day can take the same ammunition, the same nuclear ammunition that Iran aims to create. And that's why I'm very worried. So that last just, night's rockets could be nuclear rockets the in same years rockets, to come. The same ballistic rockets. And the damage that one nuclear rocket could do to Israel, wipe out half the country? Israel is a very small country. You mm. should remember it. Israel yeah. is a very small country with just less than 10 million people. Mm. Although Israel lives in a very complicated area, we should always remember that Israel is the front line for Britain, for France, for mm. uh, the US. And that's why yesterday night, on the one hand, was a great accomplishment. We saw the coalition led by the US with the UK, with French, fighting and taking down 99% of the rockets. But on the same time, we understand that Iran is not threatened. They are not deterred. And the question is how to use the same coalition that yesterday did such a successful operation mm. to prevent Iran from doing it again. And that's a big question. And the question that the Israeli government right now is dealing with. Now, my viewers and listeners are naturally very concerned about what's happening in Israel, very sympathetic to the Israeli people. October the 7th was the single worst attack on Jewish people since the Holocaust. And I lost count of the number of emails and messages I got from my viewers and listeners in their support. So the public send their best wishes to the Israeli people. But why does it matter to my viewers and listeners to protect the state of Israel? It's thousands of miles away. Why is it important? Similar to what happened yesterday, the attack shot on Israel was uh, also 1,000 kilometers away from Iran soil. And this is the first time it's happening since uh, the revolution in Iran in 1979. Mm. Why it's important for the UK? Because the same missiles that right now have been shot in Israel yesterday night is the one that for the last almost two years and more been shot in Ukraine. This is the same Iranian ammunition. And the same one that one day, if we will not prevent Iran from achieving their goal of Islamic caliphate from Iran to Egypt, they will also attack Europe. And that's why I'm also concerned on the one hand after seeing this great accomplishment by the question seeing after the G7 committee today meeting and discussing mm. what should prevent Iran from doing it, if the G7 will be able to announce a deterrent message for Iran that will prevent them to do it again. That's why Israel is concerned. So you think it's possible that in the years ahead, Iran could attack the United Kingdom? I think Iran has an achievement and has a goal and their goal is to create an Islamic caliphate. From, as I said, from Iran to Egypt, they will do whatever they can in order to achieve to, to turn, if, and, turn and, and, the and entire UK, the entire planet into an Islamic caliphate. Specifically, the Middle East. Mm. But if the UK will prevent them from doing it, they mm. will attack the UK. They're not afraid. They're not uh, also taking care of their people. We saw today happening uh, a rally in front of the Iranian embassy of Iranian people who live in the UK who are opposing the Iranian mm. regime. And that's why it's important to understand that this is not a war between the Iranian people and Israel. This is a war between a radical regime that laid the proxies all around the Middle East, including Yemen, Syria, Iraq, and also including Gaza with Hamas. And this is a question if this radical proxies and Iran itself will be able to deter it from doing it again. Iran, of course, supported to a certain degree by China and Russia. How close are we to World War Three? In my point of view, this is why the response for Iran attack is important. Mm. Like what's happened with Ukraine and the uh, uh, result for the coalition government to support the Ukraine. This is a question not about Israel. 
I know Israel will be able to attack back, but this is a question, what is the Western world, the civilization should do in order to mm. make sure that Iran would not be interested in doing it again? Not just in order of their capabilities. We know they have the capabilities. It's a question of deterring Iran. Israel's self-defense was very successful last night. I'm sure you're very proud of what was achieved uh, with the support of uh, allied forces. However, the President of the United States has said to your Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, to accept that victory, to take the win, is a direct quote from Joe Biden. Do you think that Israel should turn the other cheek and not retaliate and instead seek to de-escalate the situation? I think the de-escalation will be when the Iran will be deterred. The question is how to deter Iran. Israel is not, interesting, is not interested in attacking back. Israel is hopeful will be able to create the same peace that happened on October 6, mm. since uh, Hamas broke and started this war. In my point of view, Israel should do one main uh, step, which is making sure that the proxies that all around Israel, and I'm speaking about Lebanon, about Hezbollah, yeah. and also about Hamas, and other proxies in Yemen and in Iraq and Syria, would be deterred. And how to deter them? I think part of the work is to finish the war in Gaza. I'm hopeful that it will happen soon. And I think as soon as it will happen soon, it will also be good both for Israelis and also for the Gazans people. Um, lastly, can we talk about the people in Israel, ordinary folk last night? How does it feel to be in a country which has got rockets and drones raining in the skies? Yesterday, it felt like a reality show. We mm. saw how Israel, on one hand, could almost be eliminated from the earth. This is what the Iranian, the Iranian vision is. And on the other hand, how many allies gathered together to prevent it. I'm worried not because what's happened yesterday. I'm worried because October 7 was a situation when Israel was not prepared. It can mm. be one morning or one night when Iran will decide to attack Israel. And for that specific night, Israel will not be, prevent, will not be prepared as it was yesterday night for the last 12 days. Uh, Mr. Baram, I wish you and the Israeli people well. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, Ayal Biram there. Um, thank you very much. Captain Reserve of Israel's Special Forces.